Hi, welcome to vteachacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about multiplication of integers. So let's begin with the basics of multiplication. So here we all know that multiplication is nothing but a repeated addition. For example like say 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is nothing but we are adding 4 times 3. So in multiplication we write this as 4 multiplied by 3. Now what is 4 multiplied by 3? So let me draw a number line and then try to make you understand in an easy manner. So here on the number line we all know that integers involve negative numbers and then positive numbers. So negative numbers lie on the left side from 0 and positive numbers lie on the right side from 0. So here 4 multiplied by 3 is nothing but 4 jumps each of 3 steps from 0 towards the right on the number line. Therefore by taking 4 jumps each of 3 steps we reach at 12. Therefore 4 multiplied by 3 is equals to 12. Now let's discuss what will be 4 multiplied with minus 3. That is nothing but we are adding minus 3 4 times. So here on the number line we can see this as 4 jumps each of 3 steps towards the left side on the number line. That is starting from 0, 4 jumps each of 3 steps we reach at minus 12. So 4 multiplied with minus 3 is minus 12. Now here you would have noticed that we are multiplying with a negative integer we are moving towards the left on the number line and the same way we are multiplying with positive integer we are moving towards the right on the number line. So now 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. So what would be minus 4 times 3? that is minus 4 multiplied with 3. So let's discuss about minus 4 multiplied with 3. So for this let us study the pattern given on the right side. So here in the pattern if you observe you will see that as the multiplier decreases by 1 the product also decreases by 3. That is here 4, 3, 2, 1. We can see that the product is also decreasing by 3 that is 12, then 9, then 6, then 3 and so on. So from this observation we can say that minus 4 multiplied by 3 is nothing but minus 9 reduced to 3 that is minus 12. Hence minus 4 multiplied by 3 is minus 12. So in the earlier example on the number line we know that 4 times minus 3 is also minus 12. Hence minus 4 multiplied by 3 is equals to 4 multiplied by minus 3 that is minus 12. Hence in the same manner we can also say that minus 5 multiplied by 4 is equals to 4 multiplied by minus 5 is equals to minus 20. Thus each time you are multiplying a positive integer with a negative integer the product here we get as a negative integer that is minus 5 and minus 5 here in this case we get the product as minus 20 and the same in the above also we are multiplying a minus 4 or a minus 3 we get the product as minus 12 and same you can also observe in the pattern given on the right side. So from these examples you would have noticed that product of positive integer and a negative integer is always a negative integer. Hope you understood the concept. To like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.